four years. Jim Miklaszewski reporting from the Pentagon. Now a, an FBI veteran who is an expert on terrorism, was the on-scene commander during the crime investigation at the World Trade Center bombing and during the bombing in Oklahoma City. Rick Hahn is with us tonight. Uh, Rick, it occurs to me, listening to Jim Miklaszewski, this company, this country rather, is going to go from playing defense to playing offense, perhaps rather quickly. Any problem with that? Uh, not, not any problem whatsoever as long as we, uh, as I'm sure the administration wants to, clearly identify exactly who's responsible here. Uh, and that's being done not only by the FBI, but the FBI in concert with all the other intelligence agencies, the CIA, the NSA, the DIA. Not to be flipped, but since we need a villain, uh, since there will be a planned attack against a, a villain, will we, there be pressure on the investigating agencies to speed that up? Well, I think that there already is a good deal of pressure on the investigative agencies to work as quickly as possible, not only uh, in for the purpose of uh, responding very quickly uh, to the, these horrendous acts, but also for the purpose of quickly identifying conspirators that are both here and abroad and uh, saving evidence that uh, may exist today that might not be there tomorrow. Uh, when, uh, when people raise questions to you about the failure of the intelligence community, uh, I know your answer is twofold. Number one, that some reports might have been missed, and number two, that there are constraints on the intelligence community. Expand on that, if you will. Well, that's exactly right, Brian. Uh, the, the intelligence community, the FBI, for example, has to request from the Department of Justice permission to do an investigation of anyone in this country. Um, and that permission is uh, meted out in various levels. Uh, and those various levels, uh, depending on what you know about the person from the get-go or what you know about the organization from the get-go, uh, can be pretty constraining in terms of uh, what you can or can't do using live informants, using wiretaps, of course, are things that are only left to the higher echelon investigations. Uh, therefore, it's sometimes impossible to ferret out any activity by sleeper cells, which uh, we suspect that many of the individuals involved in this were uh, part of. Uh, they have been in this country perhaps for years, uh, promising to be willing to do acts of terrorism, but never being asked to or tasked to until now. There are federal officials and members of the House and Senate who I've heard in the space of just today talking about a military attack that would root out, ferret out, and destroy, uh, as they put it, you know, all sources of terrorism globally. Can you imagine a campaign and how big that would have to be? Uh, I, I can't imagine that uh, sort of a campaign being as surgical as I think the administration wants to see it. I think all of, uh, all of America wants to see uh, a, a response to these horrendous acts. But on the other hand, I don't think any of Americans want any blood of innocence on their hands. Uh, and how do you avoid that when you go at something mil militarily the way it's uh, certainly being reported? We're going to go at this subject. It, it may be that uh, it is not possible to do that to attain our goals, and then we'll have to make those hard decisions. FBI veteran Rick Hahn, uh, as we've uh, called on you in the past this week, we sure appreciate your advice and counsel on these matters. Uh, about. Pleasure, uh, thank